Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at stepper motors and a very easy way to get started. And I'll be using unipolar stepper motors because they're very easy to interface. So I brought out the four phase coils of the stepper motor to my breadboard with some jumpers on my breadboard. So now I can activate each phase coil separately in sequence, as you can see here. And when I swipe from left to right, I can make my stepper motor go clockwise. And if I swipe from right to left, it'll go counterclockwise. So this is a unipolar stepper motor. It has six wires and there's basically two coils. There's an A coil and a B coil and they're stacked on top of each other. And one of the of the wires of the three is the center tap. So we join them together and we connect them to the uh, power supply. Then we have four phase coils that we can energize to make the motor spin. So next we'll have a look at the schematic, the wiring diagram of the stepper motor. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the stepper motor that I'm using. Now we can see the two main coils that were stacked. That's coil A and coil B. And each coil has three wires coming out of it, three leads. So there's your one, two, three leads coming out of each coil. Now each coil has a center tap and they're joined together and fed to the 12 volt power supply. So if we ground this lead here, which is the phase one lead, we'll energize the phase one coil, which will be this coil here. And if we ground this lead, which is phase three, we'll energize this coil, which is the phase three coil. So if we ground this lead here, we'll get current from the 12 volt power supply through the center tap, through the coil, and into, into ground. So if we energize phase one, and then phase two, and then phase three and phase four, the stepper motor will turn clockwise. And if we energize phase four, then three, then two, and then one, the stepper motor will run counterclockwise. Okay, so by energizing each phase coil in sequence, we can make the stepper motor turn. Now instead of you doing this by hand, we can use a microcontroller to do that. As we can see here, so you see the four LEDs flashing in sequence. So if we hooked up the outputs of the GPIO to the stepper motor, it would actually step the motor clockwise. And if we want to go counterclockwise, we could change the sequence to go from right to left and that will go counterclockwise. So now we have to interface the output to the stepper motor. Now obviously we can't drive the stepper motor directly with the GPIO. It doesn't have enough current capability. So we need some kind of interface. So next we'll look at some interfaces that we could use to run our stepper motor. Okay, here's the interface board that I built to drive a stepper motor. Now this one will actually drive two stepper motors and they're very large stepper motors. As you can see I'm using MOSFETs to drive each phase coil. So this array will drive the first stepper motor. This array will drive the second stepper motor. And I built it on a Vero board. And the inputs are optocoupled. You can see these are optocouplers. They're driving each MOSFET. So the microcontroller just has to drive an LED in the optocoupler. And it's totally isolated from the MOSFET. So this is, this is kind of over overkill for our stepper motor. So for our stepper motor, we could use just NPN transistors. Or what I like using is the ULN2803. Darlington driver IC and we'll have a look at that circuit next. Okay so the four GPIO lines of the microcontroller are being buffered by the ULN2803 driver chip. Now this driver chip can handle 500 milliamps and it has built-in freewheeling diodes so we don't have to add on the freewheeling diodes to the circuit. So now we could drive the stepper motor counterclockwise or clockwise so next we'll have a look at the schematic of how we interface the Arduino Nano to the ULN2803 driver IC. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of our driver IC and our stepper motor. Now the schematic indicates a ULN2003 and I'm using a ULN2803 and it's basically the same chip. Now if you look at the very left you can see the four GPIO lines from the Nano coming into the chip and the four outputs driving the four phase coils, phase one to four. So now we have total control of the stepper motor, so we can control it counterclockwise and clockwise right down to the step level. Okay, so anytime I'm controlling hardware with my microcontroller, I like to map it to my keyboard. It makes the development a lot easier. So here I'm mapping the stepper motor to my keyboard. I'm using the plus and minus keys on my keyboard to control the stepper motor. So I have a begin and tail loop, which is running continuously, and it takes the key, senses the key press, and ASCII 43 is the plus key 
And if I press the plus key, it was, it'll increment, it'll step my stepper motor one step clockwise. Now if I press the minus key, which is ASCII 45, it'll step my stepper motor counterclockwise one step. And then if I hit the escape key, I'll come out of my program and we'll activate kill, which will de-energize all the phase coils. So this is running in the begin and tail loop. So all I have to do is hit a plus and minus keys on the keyboard to control the stepper motor. So next we'll have a look on how this works. So as I hit minus key, we see it's stepping one step counterclockwise. And if I hit the plus key, it goes one step clockwise. Now if I hold down the key, I'll get the auto repeat. You'll see you'll get multiple steps. And on the negative, on the minus key, goes counterclockwise. Okay, so that was a little primer on how you get started working with stepper motors. So go online, look for some unipolar stepper motors, because you don't need an H bridge to get them up and running. Like this one here, this is made by Airpax. It runs on 12 volts DC. It has a step angle of 7.5 degrees, which is 48 steps per revolution. Now this is another stepper motor. It's also a unipolar stepper motor. It runs on 5 volts. It only has 5 wires because the center tap wires are connected internally. So get yourself a stepper motor and hook it up like I showed you on my breadboard. And you can actually activate each phase coil by hand. And it will give you a really good understanding on how a stepper motor works.